Winners finals here, Valhalla 3. Shine, immediate knockdown for Leffing. Goes for the cheese for a throw. Shine sends Prof in though, very lucky. Yeah, going for the laser land on the platform. Ooh. Safe, fast. Yeah. Leffing gets out of that up throw, follow up with Smash DI. Nice stuff there. Ooh. Leffing looking for those up tilts again. Prof gets falling up air though. Up smashes the no tech. Goes to the ledge, but Leffing takes stage instead. Yeah, Levin likes to recover with side B's, a little bit of bubble edge, and then mix it up between short end and non-short end. Yeah. There's a great uh, mix up there from just like a little fade back nair from Prof. Baiting the shield grab from Levin. But Prof doesn't cover the ledge. Yeah. Prof once again covers the ledge and Levin went high. Oh, didn't want that force match, so I think. This could be a follow-up. No, Prof guesses wrong on the platform. Oh, nice falling up air, shine grab, and then a second up air will close that out. Yeah, and delaying that upper a little bit too to make it harder on the Smash DI. Yeah, really nice stuff there. Prof takes the lead. Obviously, this is, uh, I hate to call anything a volatile matchup, but this is definitely one that can swing either way. And <laughs> again, Prof adapted, covered the long side B, and then Leffen was like, I'm already ready, I'm one step ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't sure. always work, but sometimes when you do that up tilt, uh, if Levin doesn't get his uh, short end perfectly, perfectly spaced, you can actually shine it right afterwards. Okay, yeah, if he gets like a mid length instead of a short one or something like that. Yeah. Oh, the tournament winner there from Leffen and Prof gets the back air. Ledge? Yeah. Yeah, Leffen's leaning on this ledge quite a lot. It's going to be quite a commitment to cover it, though, is the thing. Oh, nice Tomahawk. Yeah, Grab only second hits. Yeah, only same. Second up yeah. Up. Good timing on the up air again. Prof Ooh. finds a shine. Anything here? Uh, yeah, shine is like the very high reward option there. If he yeah. got him off stage, that would have been death. Yeah. Upper is a little bit safer and good damage as well. A lot of people do backer, like it's you know zero-ish, but it's yeah. actually not going to give you anything. Oh, shine! Can you get the follow-up? No, left gets to the edge. Oh, Prof air dodges on. Managed to roll in. Out of that shine grab. Really important there. Keeping left in the corner. Gets the grab. Forward throw. The mix up. Oh, he was trying to punish the long side B, I think, there. With his own side B. Left it goes high this time across. Ready for it. He's got his jump back, though. Oh, this time, guess is right. Prof, three stocks to one. Not what I'd expect to see. Oh, here's a power shield getting pushed back even further. Yeah. Left and answers that stock pretty clean. He's got a lot of deficit to make up. Grab, up throw, left and takes away, no follow up from Prof. Left and sneaks out, shield dropping down to the ground, doesn't want to face that mix up on the platform. Oh, oh no! Prof pushes himself off stage, doesn't want that. Oh, left finds the drill, gets the grab, conversion. Up air, second hit only, that's really important. Prof finds the shine, left and onto the edge though, gets the back air, can he keep left and down there? Oh no, left and beautiful, invisible turnaround, ledge, up tilt. Such a good angle by Prof. Barely dodging that back air. Hits him with a Firefox and then gets the back air up till there from Prof. Weak nair. Yeah, Ooh. good DI by Lev and DI yeah. out there. He was aware that it was a weak nair and he gets it. And then Prof takes game one, two stops left. Oh. Okay, Leffen's getting some headphones out or something. I think he's uh, not satisfied with how, how that went. S1. Are they taking turns S1. with the headphone port? I think they are. Alright, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that plays out. <laughs> I think they are, yeah. I think they have one headphone port and they are taking turns for that. So it's Leffen's turn now. Yeah. <laughs> he gets the counter it's big stage. Only, yeah, <laughs> counter big stage and headphones. Yeah. Um, he's, he's shaking his head. He's like, I can't believe this. Uh, yeah, definitely unfortunate though, that we can't do that. Yeah, they're swapping. That's what he's saying. Not ideal, but we'll see. And Leffen's got count pick edge. Think he'll go for an FD? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, we end up going Dreamland. The thing is, Leffen is really good at FD, but I feel like if Leffen, if he really feels like he's the better player, then I feel like he tends to not go FD as much because yeah. it's a more volatile stage. Okay, yeah. No bother. No reason to introduce that element of risk and randomness. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, Prof is a really, really good player, but Leffen yeah. is obviously walking and is the favorite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Leffen makes the right call there, goes to the edge. Prof dead pretty quick. Oh. Prof finds the nair, keeps Leffen in the corner. 
no follow up on the platform, no left, and just no tech gap tags. Yeah, we've seen a lot of those actually. Yeah. Like no tech, get a tech. Beautiful wave land by Prof. Yeah. Oh, sneaky movement around these platforms as well. Prof's looking confident. Looks like he's feeling himself. But Leffen immediately answers back. Up smash, two up tilts. Wow, that is not what he wanted to do, but it definitely worked out for him. Oh, and then Prof's down low, and Leffen's going to shine him, and that's just a completely different story to game one here. Yeah, it's the headphones, dude. It's yeah. working out. <laughs> headphones are working out. If we see it play out like that, well then, Prof lost the headphones, like Prof's got the headphones from game one, so if it goes like that, well, back and forth, then Prof's set to win because he won game one, right? True, true. Maybe that RPS yes, from the very beginning was the, for headphone yeah. port. Should be a shot yeah, here from that foot, yeah. Yeah, if you get that back here at like somewhere between like 0 to 50, it should yeah. always be that shine afterwards. Easy, easy. Left and go for the weak now, doesn't get it. But the crouch cancels Prof back air. Back air here, no Prof goes high enough. Left is keeping the pressure on though. Shines the answer from Prof. But he's stuck in the corner, Left and nares him. McLaren might see a free stock here to be honest. Oh, Left comes in, finds a dash attack. Oh, barely missed space there. Prof tries to guess ledge, but Leffen just happens to go high. He's got enough stock to percent to work with, and then he side V's out. And there you go. Yeah, convincing, convincing game two. Yeah, for sure. Very convincing. Yeah. Yep, at the counter pick. Yeah, we're switching headphones again. Right. Looks like they might be looking into... Yeah, see production on stage, see Hannah's there. Don't know if she can sort something out. Would be great. Yeah, that would be good. No, I don't think so. So. Hannah, can you give me a little bit more water? Thank you. Okay, so, uh, yeah, game three here. Leffen's win was more convincing than Profs. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was. Both of them looked in charge when in the games they won, but Leffen's just was like more dominant. Yeah. So. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's still 1-1. So, Prof still in yeah, this. For sure. Fox Dares, anything can happen. Yeah, Yoshi's traditional counter pick for Prof. He really likes this stage. In yeah. Pretty much every matchup. Yeah, it's true. Oh, ends up running to up tilt really strong there from Leffen. Thank you. Up throw. Oh. We're a little bit late on the tech chase there. Yeah. I don't think he was expecting another tech in place. Oh, picks up the up tilt, that's huge, and converts to another, but then gets stuck in his run turnaround. Takes a shine, that's important. Prof tournament winners, though. Oh, and then left hits him out of that uh, side B. Left gets the grab here, more upset on Prof. Falling up air, run off shine. Yeah, Levin really likes that back throw with like low percentage when he thinks the opponent's gonna DI in. Yeah. The up air, like, hugely to DI in, right? Because you want to go towards the middle of the stage. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that's where the mix-up comes in. Left and sneaks over the top of Prof there with the back end. This game's looking a bit more similar to the last than it was to the first. Yeah, Prof's missing a lot of ledge dashes now too, and Levin is like really, you know, capitalizing on that. Absolutely. Yeah. So Prof's looking a little bit less confident than he was earlier, I think. Ooh, oh, Levin sneaks the... in, yeah. It's a little bit late. Clips him with a second hit up here, though. Prof gets the platform, gets the shield up. Oh, finds a shine, can you get it? No, down angle forward tilt for him. Definitely oh, sweet spots the edge. Falling up air, second up air. Nope, gets a grab, and then another one. Yeah, Left good GI by Levin. Yeah, all the way off stage. And I feel like in this gate, in this uh, rock, paper, scissors of the edge guard picks up, Prof's just coming out wrong every time. Like, Leffen's just getting back. Seems like he's one step ahead of Prof on uh, decision making. Ooh. Oh, he barely makes. Yeah, that was critical. Up smash, there you go. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of up tilts. Both standing still up tilt and wave dashing up tilt. Yeah. Left against the spot dodge shine and suddenly big punish here. Back air, trades with Prof. Prof makes his way in, gets the roll. And now he's stuck at the edge again. Oh, calling out full hop. No dice. Has to go high because Leffen's on the edge and that looks like a dead prof to me. Oh, no, Leffen lets him back on. Prof getting purchase in. No, he gets grabbed out of his missed down air. 
And Leffen, a little bit of fancy movement there, cleaning up with the back air. 2-1 Leffen. Yeah, fancy and uh, really good as well. Like When you do that, you have the easy opportunity to just fall down and grab the ledge as well. So, mm. yeah. yeah, keeping like Prof uncertain about what option he's going to go for. Yep, precisely. Lucky. Oh, neither of the Lucky players the going for a drill grab. No, yeah. Maybe not, you know, fully confident in execution, timing. Yeah. Oh, Prof trying to get that falling up there. The platform messes him up and left him text in. Another missed execution follow up on the up throw there from Prof. Left and just happened to play in the corner there. Four hops over Prof's approach. Prof forced to side B, gets the ground tech, helps him out. A few risky attacks into the corner from Prof there, really putting himself in a bad position when he misses. Left and boxed in again. Yeah, and that time full jumping in the corner, but noticing Prof is like not, you know, getting anywhere close. Yeah. So, might as well just take the ledge. Yeah. Up tilt. Oh, goes to the forward air for conversion. Oh, yeah, good smash the other from Leffen. Oh, and he lands, managed to get in and put this percent on Prof. Prof hesitant around those up tilts. He sees Leffen's looking for it. Does not want to be running into any of them. Wow, Leffen just hits him out of the charge. Prof so close to the stage there. Prof up throw. Oh, doesn't get it. I think he just guessed yeah. there. I think he should have maybe waited a second. Could have got the reaction. And then Prof finally gets the falling up air. No smash the opportunity there for Leffen, but they were doing pretty competitively. And then Prof missed a few opportunities to get the kill. And in that time, Leffen's put a whole other stock on him. Leffen takes in. Prof's not ready for it. He has a shield drop. A follow up, no shine back air. Left and side B is through. Yeah. Scary situation. We go straight to the ledge. <laughs> left and really looking for that up tilt. Shines prof. Prof managed to get in, but then left and shine grab. Yeah, that's a air. super good shine grab. Should be another back air here. Prof's high enough, but then he goes flat. Left and reads it. Yeah, prof didn't have enough height to. Like when he charged the up B either, so it was a yeah. very bad position. Leffen could easily cover everything there. Yeah, and this seems like might be Prof's winner's bracket stock here. Cool. Accidental shield from Leffen there. Oh, Ooh, finds a weak there. Oh, Prof tournament winners. Edge guard situation. Oh, Leffen guesses ledge. Prof goes middle. Jabs from Prof. Getting him an opening, finds the back air on Leffen. Oh, gets the side beat to cover, but then, oh, still manages to chase him onto the platform. Oh no! No, falling up there, and that's probably gonna be it. Don't don't Leffen Ooh. manages to convert on that side beat with an up smash. Yeah, that was such a crisp ledge down. Yeah, it was. Was he needed every frame he had there, and he, I think he got all of them. So, right in, managed to get pretty much all the way to center stage to punish Prof in time. Yeah. Managed to land that up smash, really good stuff. Yeah, I was surprised Prof went for the upper in the first place and not yeah. the back air because, I mean, yeah. like, Levin had high damage and was, like, you know, close to the edge. Yeah, I think maybe he was thinking, uh, like, the hitbox was better because he was facing the wrong way, but I don't know. Maybe he's just a bit flustered as well because the game yeah. was uh, not really going in his favor, so we'll have to see. Just posing for the photographer, don't mind me, stream. Uh